We got some miles on us, baby, but we're still good as new. <laughs> Groundbreaking sitcoms. Gordon. Hey, what are you hey, saying, hey, man? Hi. How are you? Gordon. The most watched series in television history. It calls me Toby. My name Kunta Kente. And one of Eddie Murphy's biggest comedies. See, they're McDonald's. I'm McDowell's. And Mr. Amos, right back John's here. Hollywood career was storied, impressive by any standard, even more so knowing he was breaking down barriers, as he did. Today, his son announced his death at the age of 84. He died of natural causes in Los Angeles. But at the end of August, he came to Extra just after he turned 80. I've been to the circus. I've seen the elephant. There's nothing that excites me anymore. <laughs> John told me about reuniting with Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall for the Coming to America sequel. But to work with Eddie Murphy again, it was just, I said, man, maybe I passed on and maybe this is heaven. You know? <laughs> oh, so great. His son announced his passing, saying he was a man with the kindest heart. Many fans consider him their TV father. Dino May! <laughs> We're here! <laughs> Ten years ago, nearly exactly, John and Jimmy Walker reunited on our show. It's the first official reunion in 40 years. They relived their landmark 70s sitcom about life in the projects. We did serious issues, teenage pregnancy, teenage STD. John was actually fired after three seasons when he stood up for his beliefs, objecting to some of the stereotypical ways in which Jimmy's character was portrayed. Before that, John worked on another iconic sitcom, The Mary Tyler Moore Show. That's real nice of you, thanks. As Gordy the Weatherman, what was it like to, to, to be with that group and make television? Well, I realized that I was working with easily the most talented ensemble that anybody could hope for. I talked to the Emmy-nominated actor just after he lost one of his co-stars from that show, the legendary Betty White. Tell me about your first impression of Betty. First, I was I was surprised at how well she looked. I, I was just taken back because I thought she was going to be a little standoffish in light of the career that she'd already had. But she was just as regular as she could be with a tremendous sense of humor. To work with a Betty White is a rare, rare privilege, and I enjoyed it. John also worked with the late, great Sidney Poitier in 1975's Let's Do It Again. No, we don't know about no hypnosis. Bubble Top knows about hypnosis. Want to show you what he knows about it? No. When you see Sidney Poitier, a young black man with that much influence, it had to be incredibly encouraging. He was an inspiration to me. This guy looks like me, and he made it. Maybe I can make it, too. He set a great example. An inspiration. A great example, words that future generations will be saying about John Amos. He was 84. He will be very missed.